Last night it was entertaining, honestly. Packed house. All the stars were there. Jalen Rose, Jalen and Jacoby were there. Uh, E40. I mean, they had a, a lot of guys down there. Yo uh, Jonas Jarebko was there alongside um, Tom Izzo was there as well. A lot, a lot of guys that were at the game. Um, I wanted to go see the game. Went there right after the Lions game. I was in Detroit most of the day. And my God, defensively, yes, they gave up 114. Um, it's something that they've struggled with. But offensively, they played their best game. I mean, so far, everybody in the starting lineup, uh, at least four, you could say, scored more than 20 points. Jaden Ivey had 15, uh, played 31 minutes. I think he's, he's still kind of coming back from that flu. But overall, Adam, there's not too much you can complain about. I mean, Sadiq Bey had the performance we've all been looking for, 28 points. But it's not just that. It's the, the complete game he had, the highest plus minus on the team. He got to the free throw line. He's more aggressive. And Isaiah Stewart might have had a career game as well. 24 and 13 uh, and then we could talk about Kate I mean the guys what else do I got to say about him I mean he's he's putting up I, I said he'd put up 22 6 and 6 he's pretty much on track 22 6 and 6 um, if the Pistons were winning more games he'd definitely be in the conversation uh, to be an all-star I mean he had 30 points against the Hawks on Friday at the half I was there I was there as well it was a terrific performance but the overall thing is as, as much you could take away is what they did defensively the Warriors shot 30% from three. And again, they struggled from the field. But overall, the fact that the Detroit Pistons were able to be aggressive, get to the free throw line, they, they shot 34 free throws, or excuse me, 38, made 34 of them. That's something that stood out to me, is getting to the free throw line, uh, being consistent. They had a 37-point third quarter. And to beat the champs, uh, this is the flash we want to see, all right? You're, you're one in five, you're at home, it, again, it's in the teal. Duran goes down with an ankle injury, so hopefully he's all right. Not a good thing. It, never a good thing. But you beat the champs. You, you beat a Warriors team that's been struggling so far. They're 0-3 on the road, so they have been struggling. But it's still, it's a good thing. This is the flash. Now, we talked about this. There's going to be moments where, like this, you beat the champs. Great. There might be moments where you lose to a team you probably should have beat. That's just the reality with this, with this team. Very young. Uh, a lot of things they're going to have to overcome. Um, but defensively, that's something they haven't grasped yet. And not having Bagley, Burks, and now with Duran going down, it's, it's not going to get better anytime soon. Hopefully, sooner than later, you can get Bagley back. Burks can get back. Uh, you need size, especially with Bagley. And I think he's trending in the right direction. He should be playing very soon. But it was a great, it was a great thing, Adam, to see. I mean, just to see this team step up against the Warriors. Uh, Bojan Bogdanovic, have to bring this up as, as well, got an extension. Just round of applause right there. Shout out to Bojan. He'll be in Detroit for the next two years. I think that's the most they could have offered him, a uh, two-year deal after they traded for him this offseason. I love that move, by the way. You, you get a guy who's a veteran, consistent. He was three for six from three last night, 21 points. He's the Pistons' leading scorer. Um, again, Troy Weaver. Saw him at the game. Saw Ashton as well. Shout out to Ashton, the trainer. Um, got to see a lot of people down at the game. And it was, it was just a great event, Adam. I, I mean, honestly, to go there and watch the Pistons do what they did there's nothing else you can say. I mean, and, and you know what? I have to point this out too. Little gem before I hand it off to you. Corey Joseph played five minutes. Kevin Knox didn't play at all. Maybe we can keep it that way. But overall, it's a great performance by the Detroit Pistons.